if we take a look at this pump outlet, what can you notice? Yes, it's covered in algae, but also, and the main problem, is that it is emitting fine micro bubbles. This is a really common problem with external canister filters. In this video, we're gonna go through some of the reasons why you might experience this. Now, I know exactly why my filter is doing these micro bubbles. In fact, I have left my filter to get a little bit dirty to create them. But there is more than one reason why micro bubbles happen. Pretty much all of the reasons for getting micro bubbles centers around your filter. This is a Fluval FX4. Underneath here, we also have a Fluval 307. The most common reason for the micro bubbles is just simply the fact that you have a new filter or you've just recently cleaned your filter. And by recently, I mean you've just done it. Because what will happen in a new filter or a recently cleaned filter, inside of here, you'll probably be aware that there's sponges, there's media and everything else. And especially true in a new filter, there'll be lots of air trapped within all the sponges, within all the media. And this means for the first few days to maybe a week, all that air is gonna be expelling itself from the filter out of your outlets and that's going to cause lots of micro bubbles. You'll probably see something a bit like this, but in fact, it might even be worse than this, especially if it's a new filter. If it's one that's just been cleaned, you'll probably only experience that for maybe a couple of hours because the majority of the filter media will be full of water. Now, there'll be no holes to harbor air. So what's causing the issue with my current filter? Well, it's simply lack of maintenance. Inside of my filter, I have got filter floss. If you don't know what filter floss is, it's this basically, a very fine wool. You'll normally, well, I say normally, a lot of the time, you will have this pre-cut into a pad. Especially with brands like Fluval, they tend to have their own pre-cut floss. But it's essentially the same stuff, a really fine wool. The job of this is to capture fine particles. So you can imagine, it gets filled up really quite quickly. And what happens then is it creates a blockage, basically. And that blockage causes a process called cavitation. Cavitation essentially causes gases to be removed from the fluid, i.e. the water, your aquarium water, and then you end up with lots of bubbles. This filter has already been burped today because it's an automatic process, but if we look, we might see I'm actually able to create some bigger bubbles. There we go, like you can see that. It's not as bad as it was earlier, it was really quite bubbly. And what that is, is gases being cavitated out of the water, that's probably not the right term, and then collecting inside of your canister. Now fortunately, the FX series of filters turns off every 24 hours, and essentially clears the worst of it. So you only end up with small bubbles like this. But if you didn't have one of these, you had a different kind of canister, you'll eventually find that if you don't clean your media, this will slowly fill up with air, it will lose its efficiency, and also you'll just have horrendous amount of bubbles coming out of your filter. So that's normally the main problem. If it's not a new filter, it's usually just that you need to give your filter a clean, especially any of your finer pads and things like that, especially your finer pads, because they're the ones that get blocked the fastest. One of the less common reasons, but it's common enough to mention, is your O-rings. If you didn't know, canister filters have a lot of O-rings. They are what essentially joins all the parts together and stops the water coming out and the air getting in. You might not notice if your canister filter has a leak. It might be very, very small, or it just isn't big enough to actually have water leaking out of the canister. But you might actually have a faulty O-ring where the suction of the pump blowing the water around the canister is actually sucking air into your filter. This is quite a difficult one to diagnose, especially diagnose which O-ring it is, because initially you need to sort of make sure it's not just dirty filter media or maybe a dirty impeller or something like that. So you need to give your filter a good clean first. There's the purge I was telling you about. 
all that gas is coming out from dirty media so I'll be changing that after this video back to o-rings though after you've worked out that it's not the filter media and it's not a brand new filter or brand new media if that makes sense the next thing to check are your o-rings it's difficult because they're not immediately obvious which o-ring it would be on this particular filter we've got a large o-ring here we've got an o-ring or maybe two o-rings on these the flow adjusters I think there's even an o-ring around where the pump goes in so which one of those o-rings is causing the issue is very difficult to to know but if you are sure it is an o-ring the best thing to do is just replace all of them because if one has gone you, you could be fairly sure that the rest of them are probably going to be old and starting to degrade as well that should solve your issue but it's not the media it's generally the o-rings the final one is actually a bit of a symptom of having too much success as you are probably aware in a planted tank this being a macroalgae planted tank but they still act in the same way if your plant or macroalgae is happy it's going to photosynthesize and plants and macroalgae release oxygen when they photosynthesize so if you've got a really happy aquarium with really happy plants you'll find that all over your plants you can have bubbles and those bubbles is oxygen what can happen though is if you've got a very powerful external canister filter those bubbles can be sucked into your canister and create the problem of having oxygen build up gas build up in your canister and then you end up getting micro bubbles what's the solution to this it's quite difficult really because you want your plants to photosynthesize and be happy but by doing that you're creating the micro bubbles i don't really have a solution to that problem other than maybe relocate your inlet to somewhere as far away from the bubbles the plants as possible but essentially it's just something you're gonna have to live with I think um, unless you make your plants unhappy to not photosynthesize but it is just worth mentioning that in case you're racking your brain maybe you've changed your media you've changed your o-rings and you're still getting micro bubbles it could just be if you've got a heavily planted tank it's the oxygen bubbles from that so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope it's helped if you are having issues with bubbles in your aquarium once again thanks for watching and happy fish keeping